Hey guys, some gamer dude here. So today we're going to look at Gold Beast Tamer, our Vanguard rare for Pale Moon. It's interesting. I I'm not completely sold on. I need to see more of Pale Moon before I get an opinion, but I'm liking what I see. Anyway, Vanguard Circle continuous during your turn. If you have five or more units, that includes this one. All of your units in the front row gain plus three thousand. That's all right. It's the same as Maelstrom. It really depends on what numbers you're hitting. But at least on the Vanguard Circle alone. Provided you have an 8,000 booster, you're hitting 23,000, which is kind of the number you want to be hitting. And auto, Vanguard Circle, when it attacks, counter blast one, put a card from your hand into your soul, and call up to two cards from your soul to regard. On face value, that's a plus one. That's good. That's good value for what it is. Because you put the card in, from your hand into your soul, it's a minus one, and you pull two out, it's a well, net zero is the one you put in, and a plus one on top of it. Helps you fuel those excel circles, but it gets a bit more interesting than that. You ride Golden Beast Tamer again to produce another regard circle. You put a card from your hand into your soul to fuel that circle on one of your other circles, because we presume it's dead for whatever reason. You just net zeroed and got a complete other column. That's really good. Uh, whatever Power Moon does otherwise, it's mostly going to be Alice jumping Jill and Midnight Bunny uh, trying to hit for pressure, which not bad, but it's not great. It's not as much forward momentum as you want, but it's there. I think this alone, this ability to create more and more Excel circles and fuel them each turn is the best part of this clan. And Murakumo has it too. I really like both clans for these interactions alone. But anyway, this has been some gamer dude. I think Murakumo and Power Moon are going to be the best Excel clans as it is. And I'll see you guys next video.